Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, it's now mine now, you're being held hostage. So everyone like, follow, and subscribe. Um, what are you doing? I don't know. In the back. Anyways, we're here in sunny California. This is actually now a travel vlog. And now I'm being lit. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Venice Beach, California. This is episode number one of my startup vlog series. So much happened over the past couple of weeks. I've been trying to raise money. I've been trying to build a product together with my friends and co-founders. And I want to keep you posted about all of that. I'm here on a YouTuber meetup conference organized by Google, which happened yesterday. So now we have two days of just having some fun, hanging out on the beach, working out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, Muscle Beach coming up. Go, go, go. Damn. How many can you do? Whew, it's getting exhausted. <laughs> Man is doing 30 seconds worth of pull up. Get Damn. Bored. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I lost it. I lost it in the <laughs> So what have you been working on over the past few weeks? So a couple of things. We are applying for Delta B, which is an MIT accelerator. If everything goes well and if we get approved, one month from now, we will learn that we can go to Manhattan to work on the startup full-time, which will be super cool because we can spend the whole summer in New York. So we are a team of a couple of people, actually. There's me, there's Emily, who is my PhD colleague. You may have seen her in a podcast before. You can check out the link over here if you want to watch a podcast with her. She's going to do the back end of the application. Then there's who is uh, in front end, so it does UI, UX. And we have Christina, who is a lawyer. She has been a lawyer for about two or three decades almost. So what exactly is the Delta B application? So it's an accelerator, really. We will get some kind of money from MIT, no strings attached. Um, I think up to $20,000, plus we'll get a small amount of salary for staying over the summer. It's not enough to actually live from it, but hopefully we can raise some money by summer so that we can actually pay ourselves so we can get through the summer. Obviously, we don't want to start. What are your thoughts on SVB crashing right as you're trying to raise? So, this is a really annoying thing. Uh, the day when we decided that we want to start applying for funding and we want to talk to VCs and investors, that very, very same day did I hear the announcement that the Silicon Valley Bank, which is the number one bank for startups in the US, collapsed. Like, what are the chances of that? And obviously this makes everything very uncertain. I don't know if we will have trouble raising money because of it. At the moment, it looks like the US government is going to save them, hopefully. So what does the Delta V application need? So there's a few things, obviously we have to write about what we want to do, but the really cool part, and that's where I come in, is we have to make a video. So we spent the last couple of days recording that. I recorded one part, and everybody had to introduce themselves, so they actually went over to my place to record this. You can watch some clips over here. And I actually spent the whole flight on the way to Los Angeles from Boston editing this. Um, it was pretty fun. So what do we have here? Lots chicken. of ramen and chicken. They're always making sure we have enough protein. Ask for triple chicken in my ramen. I'm just gonna ooh, toss that in here. That's what the Japanese gym bros eat every day. Did you know that? Adorable thing. exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> Let's go. Get you wet. No, you won't. She's trying. Doesn't really help if you weigh 40 kilograms. <laughs> this is Samuel's like work trip, so my excuse to get nice photos with a beach in the background. You look great. Thank you. Amazing outfit. <laughs> so next week we have a really interesting vlog coming up because we're all meeting up in Miami for like a super intensive work session. We want to build a pilot version of our platform and for that we probably need to spend a few days and we said okay do we want to do this in Boston where it's kind of cold and snowy or do we want to go to one of my teammates to Miami, spend the whole week at the beach, well not really at the beach, we're gonna be at a pool in his apartment. <laughs> yeah, we'll be working, we'll be working. They might be sipping some champagne, working out and just building the whole product within one week. Do you guys think you can do it? I hope so, I mean I'm not very good at programming, but the cool thing is that um, Emily is really good at coding, so she can do most of the work. <laughs> 
So what and, do you do? Okay, I can use GPT-4 to write code for me. No, but it's true. With GPT-4, I'm actually so productive. Like, without exaggerating, I think I have written three times as much useful code in the past two months by using ChatGPT as compared to before when I had to do everything manually. So why do you think um, you need to be in person to work for a startup? I mean, that's a good question. I think if you're in person, you can just, you know, hold each other accountable better, motivate each other. If you're just sitting at home, you just don't have these spontaneous conversations. And that's one thing I really hate about working from home is you have to schedule a call if you want to talk to someone or you have to message someone. But if you're like sitting next to each other, you can just say, hey, I have this idea. What do you think about that? But yeah, I'm very excited about this trip in Miami. Obviously, I'm going to vlog everything. Emily is going to be in the vlog. Erin, unfortunately, won't be able to I gotta work, man. join us. But maybe next gotta time. Work. Next time in Miami. I love Miami. It's such a cool place. How do you have time for yourself? It's quite a lot. So I do have to... Uh, how do you call it? Juggle, jiggle my time? Juggle, jiggle. How do you say that? Word? Juggle. Juggle my time. Jiggle your time. <laughs> I don't know. Jiggle your time. I'm still learning English. Uh, <laughs> I have to juggle my time between five different things. Um, you know, honestly, so a lot of people just think that I'm super productive. And if you watch my previous video called My Whole Life is a Mess, which is very sad. I'm not that sad anymore, don't worry. So I am not always productive, obviously. And I'm really just productive if I'm doing something that I'm like really passionate about. And if I have to force myself to do something, like there's no way. If I have to force myself to spend eight hours reading a scientific paper that I don't care about, I'm gonna do a shitty job with it. And that's just it. And I think you probably know the same feeling. If you have to do something that you don't like, you're not productive at it. And neither am I. But right now at the startups, I'm super motivated. And since I'm so motivated about working with a startup, I know that I also have to do my PhD research very quickly to have more time for the startup. So I'm also more motivated that about a PhD. So the fact that I'm doing more with my startup, in addition to the PhD and bodybuilding and everything else, I'm actually more productive with all of these things and getting more done at every single one of these five things, as opposed to, you know, working on just one thing where I would be bored with it. Wow. I think it also like, since you're founding it, you're working with a team. It probably is easier to have all that team members like holding you accountable, right? I think so too. If we're multiple people, we're working together. Um, oh, this is getting very heavy. <laughs> we're super close to Venice. Venice, no, how's it called? The Gold's Gym. Yeah. Where Arnold Schwarzenegger used to work out. Uh, we're gonna work out there tomorrow morning. I'm super excited about that, actually. Yeah. So one issue that I had with my PhD was we were all working alone. Like working as a PhD candidate, you just work on your own project, which sucks. Like, if you cannot bounce ideas of other people, like talk about stuff, you're just gonna get miserable after some time. I mean, I know some people can do it, but I'm just not the type for it. Santa Monica Pier. What are we gonna do there? Win a stuffed animal. Stuffed animal? Yes. And how old are you? <laughs> 24. 24 okay. wants to win Embrace a stuffed animal. Embrace your inner child. <laughs> Does anybody see something wrong with how Aaron is swiping this card? Do you know what this little black thing means? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no! I have to beat that? Well, I already win because I managed to pay in one swipe. Yeah. Just putting it out. Oh, come <laughs> on! Five times. This is so unfair! Five times? Oh my... 26 times. <laughs> So Erin, what are we gonna have? Coffee. Is that the most important thing? Yes. <laughs> what is the most protein? Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. We're gonna go for steak and eggs. Today we're gonna work out in Arnold's uh, Gold's Gym. Uh, we're gonna work out like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maybe we're gonna meet him there if you're lucky. Arnold's Gold's Gym is like uh, the make out bodybuilding. It's like every, every proper bodybuilder should go there once, no matter where they're from in the world. They should travel to LA and work out there. How much merchandise are you gonna buy? I'm gonna buy all of it, yeah, that's a good point. I have to buy merch. 
uh, posters of Arnold Schwarzenegger to put in my room. I'm gonna buy Gold's Gym outfits, everything. Aaron, are you excited to work out like Arnold? I'm very excited. What He's are we gonna do today? Heavy uh, ass squats? Squats. And then I'm gonna start doing baby Pilates on the side. <laughs> and then everyone's gonna laugh at me. How much do you squat? I don't know. Two plates at least. No, there's no way. I can How much do you bench that. press? I don't bench press. What about deadlift? I don't deadlift. Why don't you do I have these nails. Do you think I can oh, do this? We don't want to ruin that. <laughs> I'm taking my workout supplements. I have to count which ones I have to take. There are so many on this player. There are. I'm a bit lost. I forgot what is what. I forgot what this stuff is. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to take all of it. Gosh. Hopper, like Whopper. Whopper. <laughs> oh, okay. Done. Steak. Yeah. He's vibrating with excitement because we're 250 feet away from the gold stick. I can feel the proximity. Can... I've been praying in this direction for the whole year. We are here. Yes. Hello. Hi, uh, will it be possible to get a day pass for a workout? Sure, have you guessed me before? Are you from Germany? Yes. Oh, cool. Ich komme auch aus Deutschland. Also, meine Familie kommt aus Deutschland. Ja, woher? Ich komme aus Stuttgart. Ich auch. Echt? Ja. Geil. Ich bin geboren. Ich bin auch gewachsen. Ich habe nur fünf Jahre dort gewohnt. Fünf Jahre? Ja. Ich bin sehr gut dafür. Damn. There we go. Come on. This man currently has more tit than I do. doing 30 pound dumbbell bicep curls very heavy very heavy how good. do you feel good i want to see this almost almost <laughs> So I was filming the other guy. <laughs> You're watching a man trying to justify purchasing this entire store. I'm trying to make up a reason why I need to buy this Venice Beach gold gym thing. I have none, but I'm gonna come up with something. What could I use it for? Let us know in the comment section. <laughs> to carry all the meat. To carry all the meat. For the gains. Yes, for the gains. Meat for the gains. That's what I'm buying. This Look at this beautiful. I'm gonna buy everything. Everything. Yeah. How much merch do you want? I'm probably gonna spend my entire annual salary here. <laughs> and how much is your annual salary? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough to buy a Gold's Gym. Oh yeah. Is it time to start a Gold's Gym in Massachusetts? Mm -hmm. That's my big dream. So when I sell my startup, I wanna use that money to start a Gold's Gym in some other state in the US. And? Imagine how amazing that would be to own a Gold's Gym. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He charges, I think I heard somewhere, $150,000 for one training session. So I'm saving up my money right now. I'm currently at zero dollars out of the 150,000. <laughs> but as soon as I get to 150,000, I'm gonna do a workout session with Arnold. So I have to make money quickly. All the colors. You don't need one of every color. You don't. You don't need to get one of every color. You don't need to get one of every color. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. All right. Are you satisfied with the haul? Oh my oh, God. Man. Look at this. <laughs> and we got something for Aaron as well. Yeah. That's, okay. That's all for me. <laughs> One of us has a shopping addiction. And it's Aaron. 
This is just an exception for me. Hello and greetings from Miami. So this was episode number one of the Startup Vlog series. Episodes two and three are coming out in the coming weeks, I think. They've already been recorded. Emil and I are here in Miami because we want to talk to investors as well as develop our platform prototype. Working on this AI platform made me realize that back in high school when I learned about computer science, math, and machine learning, I only had access to very old school books and could not really utilize modern tools and platforms such as Brilliant and Oracle. who kindly agreed to sponsor this video. Brilliant is an app and website for learning math, computer science, and other STEM topics. They have thousands of lessons from foundational, advanced mathematics to data science, finance, and more. For example, in my past videos, I've talked about the importance of understanding math intuitively, so you could check out their courses on mathematical thinking. As you go through the materials, you get to manipulate them visually, and you will learn everything from basic math, how to use variables to fit equations, to real-world data, all the way to modern applications and machine learning. To try everything Brilliant has to offer, free of charge, for 30 days, just go to brilliant.org slash Samuel Bosch, or click it in the link in the description. The first 200 of you who use the link to sign up are going to get 20% off their annual membership. If you enjoyed this video, you can thank me by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the notifications so you don't miss the next episode coming in from Miami. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Just chill here now. Woo.